trimmed up his visor. We're going to clean it up with the thinning shears here. You clear out in front of his eyes. A lot of clients come in specifically for face trims because they don't like this hair that grows in front of their eyes and they don't like their visor to fall down in front of their eyes because they like to be able to see their pet's eyes. So we're going to clean this out here with the thinning shears so that you can see his eyes. Just clean that out on both sides. Makes it look a little bit more natural. If he had a denser coat, you could use that your, your um, blade and kind of scoop that out with like a 10 blade, but he has a really thin coat and he'd be balded if we do that. So, And then we're going to comb right between his eyes here and then just come down and tidy that a little bit. You always want to check and pull this down to make sure they don't have a little horn sticking out because once they shake off and they go out to their mom, those are the things that you have to, to check on if they're clean under their tail and if they have a horn because it's going to come out after they shake everything apart. So you can see he's got really flat hair on his head. Doesn't like to stand up. You can comb it up and it just falls down again. So there's a couple options of what you can do with that. You can put some product in it so that it does stand up. Or a lot of times I will do what we like to call a, a type of layer trim, where it's, it's kind of like what your hairstylist does. I'll comb it up and hold it between my fingers here and then trim over top of my fingers. So then you have all the right length because you're holding it. You're not going to cut the dog because your fingers are right there in the way. And you can make it all the same length on top because you can see where the short stuff is. And then you just trim everything that's longer than the length you want it. And it gives it a pretty natural look too. I'm also going to spritz him with some, this is the Coat Handler Anti-Static Detangler Spray. So you have kind of a fine line when you're using products of, you don't want them to be staticky because that makes their hair fly away. But if you use too much conditioner, their hair is going to be li really limp, and then it's not going to stand up so that you can get a good trim. So you have to be judicious in your use of products so that you don't have too much of one or the other. So let's see, we're going to just trim that on the top. It's going to be a little bit longer than his body. But it's still, if you comb it forward, you can get any little flyaways here so that it's not going to fall into his eyes. 